Hey everybody and welcome back to a new video. Hope everybody's week is going well. Um, if I sound a little funny, I apologize. I've got a toothache um, that's been bothering me. So uh, hopefully I can make it to an appointment for the dentist and get that looked at. But anyway, um, so we're doing a review today, guys. This is on the TKKJ um, M70 mini drone. And uh, so it kind of looks like this. It's in a little wire cage. So before we start off with the review, I just wanted to give a big shout out to GearBest. Um, thank them for sending this for me to be able to do the review on this particular drone. So thank you guys to the guys at GearBest. If you haven't checked them out, um, head over to GearBest.com. Uh, they got some really cool gadgets, drones, uh, everything you can imagine. They're really nice people. Um, they got really great customer service and really cool prices and everything like that. So let's get right into this. Okay, so again, this is the uh, TKK, I'm reading the package, uh, M70 mini drone. So it comes in this uh, cage thing. Um, and when I got it, I would I kind of um, had to take a second look because I didn't know if they it sent me like a cat ball or like a dog toy or something like that. Um, but it actually is a little drone inside here. Um, if you see, it's got a little bar that it sits on. So when this thing floats up in the air, the actual you can see the ball spins around the drone. Um, and it goes like that. Now also it can uh, go on the floor as well and kind of roll around and it drove my dog crazy. She absolutely uh, loves it. Um, but I had a really hard time um, controlling it down on the ground. Uh, it was a little bit better up in the air with this. So uh, here's what it looks like from the side, from the, uh, from the back. Uh, the, the battery sits right back in here and it's a, a 3.7 uh, volt 150 milliamp. There is a little power switch right there that you switch on and off. Um, it is kind of a little bit of a pain to get the battery out because uh, this um, thing, as you can see, these uh, this whole thing is kind of um, screwed in there, so it's kind of a little hard to get the battery out, but uh, once you kind of finagle it, you're able to uh, get it out not too, uh, too horribly bad. So what do you get in the package? Um, so you get your uh, instruction manual. Uh, you get a little uh, 2.4 gigahertz um, controller and this does take uh, I believe it was two AAA batteries um, you get your typical USB charger um, you also get a uh, nice size screwdriver there and a set of propellers so that's what you get in the uh, package so when this turns on um, it's got a red light in the back and it's got a green light on the front so let's move the camera down here for just a second and I'll show you what it looks like once we turn it on here. So when you actually uh, turn it on, um, you just go like that and it kind of flashes. And then uh, in typical flat fashion with uh, most of these uh, little toy drones or all drones, um, you just do up, down, and then it will uh, bind. You can see the lights on there stay solid and that says stall it as well. So um, the instructions on this were not the best. Um, they're kind of really hard to read. So I'm gonna read to you the uh, the directions here and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get through this together. So up on the top here, this is your flip button. Um, up on the top here, this is your high low speed button right here. Um, so over here on the, uh, the left, this one's supposed to be, it's called automatic cruise land pattern. I couldn't figure out how to use that button, so I don't know. Um, these are supposed to be your rotate left and right, and now I don't know if that's on the ground or up in the air, I, I couldn't figure it out. Um, this is the yaw left and the yaw right buttons. Um, this is the, wow, thanks. <laughs> I pushed the button. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is the uh, uh, pitch forward, and this is the uh, throttle as usual. And uh, this one is the pitch backwards. So I think you use these buttons here when it's on the ground and you use the throttle sticks in, uh, like normal when it's up in the air. So I'm gonna try and test it out and I'm gonna try and see uh, if I can get it to work. So that's kind of, again, what it looks like there. And then so here's your uh, your little, uh, little drone. Like I said, it's got kind of like a little green and a little red. Um, when it's in the air, it is a little difficult to tell the orientation of the drone. Um, 
just because the lights are not the brightest. I wish they were a little bit brighter. I like the concept of it, um, that it's in the cage, and, and I can tell you, watch, you can hit that thing down on the ground, and uh, I'll tell you what, it, <laughs> it stays intact in there. I've uh, gone full throttle with this thing up against the wall, um, up against the couch, the TV, and I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's actually nice and uh, squishy. Now, one thing to be careful when these uh, are spinning right here, um, sometimes if you get your finger too close uh, right there it will nick you so just be uh, just be on the careful side with that but uh, yeah so again this is the uh, TKKJ um, M70 mini drone um, it's a kind of a cool little drone I like the design I like the idea uh, like I said it was a little hard to uh, roll it around on the ground but I had better luck with it um, up in the air and uh, flying it around that way and it was kind of cool like I said as it as it flies in the air the drone you can see it stays central because it's got that bar and it kind of just stays forward there and it just it rolls around so it it kind of it's a really cool idea I, I really do like it um, I don't know if I would actually really use this out in professionally but for just messing around in the house somebody that wants just something like really inexpensive just to kind of uh, you know learn how to uh, fly just a mini drone in the house you know it might not be too bad of a, a little toy to uh, to pick up and uh, test it out. So guys, hold on for just a second. We're gonna head upstairs um, and out to the backyard. I'm gonna try and fly it outside. Um, we don't have too much wind up here today in Colorado, so hopefully I can fly it out there. So hold on while I do that. All right guys, so I'm out here in my backyard. I'm going to uh, set the drone down in front of me and we're gonna take off with it. I'm going to try my very, very best to keep this in the camera for you guys. Uh, this thing is not very easy to uh, to get to uh, control, and it. All right, so it's not responding to the uh, commands of the uh, remote for some reason. So I'm going to try using some of the buttons here. There we go. Okay. I think I got it. I'm trying to get it and the camera for you guys. There it is. Okay, there we go. Like I said, this thing is, uh, it's really kind of hard to, uh, to control this thing. It's not the, uh, the easiest remote to uh, control. That's for sure. I'm definitely fighting it. Uh, like I said, it's a, it's a cool little little design um, it's just not the easiest to control it's uh it really kind of wants to go and do its own do its own thing there it goes okay so you can kind of see it spinning now there we go it's not real uh, responsive to the uh, to the remote kind of really wants to do its own thing but and it's not bad for a little toy beginner drone. I'll try and get it to come forward for you guys. Whoa. <laughs> it keeps wanting to, to move back. So I'm gonna try and get it to, uh, if I can... nope, that didn't work. All right, so anyway, uh, trying to get it back in the camera. There we go. So it is a cool little design. Um, I'm gonna give it uh, maybe uh, just one thumb, um, just because it is a cool little design. I, I like the uh, design. I like the concept is cool, um, but it's extremely hard. I think if they maybe made it maybe a little bit bigger um, and more responsive to the uh, controller, I think it would be uh, better because uh, like you can see I'm having a really tough time just keeping this thing in the camera for you guys um, I wouldn't suggest taking it outside um, this because I'm afraid this thing if you get any bit of wind it's just gonna start flying away on you as you guys can see I'm having a really hard time keeping it it's not auto hover or anything like that if they add maybe an auto hover to it it probably would be a lot easier yeah there we go see and now I can't even 
you can kind of see it kind of rolls on the ground. So, but anyway, guys, that that's the uh, flight. So we'll let's we'll go back downstairs. We'll uh, finish this video off. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, little flight. And this again was the TKKJ. M70 mini drone and it's in this nice uh, squishy uh, cage so um, like I said I personally had a hard time uh, working it down on the ground but maybe with a little bit more practice and some more time um, you know I might get better at it of course I'm used to flying drones up in the air so but uh, it's a cool little design it is fun um, I drove my cat and my dog absolutely nuts uh, with this thing uh, they went flying around with it and uh, uh, trying to catch it so that was that was kind of fun so it's better than uh, almost better than a laser toy <laughs> so but uh, like I said when I first got this thing I didn't know if it was a cat toy if it was a hamster ball or what they had sent me to uh, do a review on but um, it is kind of cool it fits in your palm like that uh, so it's it's pretty cool so guys if you uh, like this review please give me a thumbs up and if you like the channel if you enjoy my uh, reviews and things like that uh, hit the subscribe button for me down at the bottom and uh, if you wouldn't mind just hit that little bell when you hit the bell that just lets you know um, when I have a new video that's available for you guys and typically always update on uh, Thursdays Fridays uh, sometimes during the week when I have a chance um, I got a really cool drone coming tomorrow for you guys I'm not gonna tell you what it is but um, stay tuned for that one for tomorrow. Um, I got it in last week. Um, I had a chance to uh, kind of fly it around a little bit and mess with it. It is really cool. Um, and so I want to share that with you guys tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. Um, guys, and also I wanted to say uh, thank you to all the awesome subscribers. Um, I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Um, I try and read all the comments and get back to everybody as, as soon as I can, but I can't always. But thank you guys for all the uh, wonderful, awesome comments and support. Um, without you subscribers, uh, there would be no channel. So thank you guys so very, very much. But uh, in the meantime, guys, while you're waiting for the next video, let's keep our drones up in the air, flying high. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today.